Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at the hinge pattern. Uh, the hinge pattern is commonly performed while doing deadlifts. Now, how do we set up for the hinge pattern? For this, you're going to need a stick or a dowel. And you're going to place it on your back and now you're going to have three points of contact uh, with the body, which is the back of the head, the mid back and the tailbone. We're going to show this from another side just to have an idea of how the hand placement and the dowel placement should be on the back. Okay. Now that we have the setup in its place, we're going to have an even weight distribution on both legs. The same setup applies, applied for the squat applies here. The cough brace, the ability to breathe and uh, feet shoulder width apart. Now from here, you're going to hinge by pushing the hip back while maintaining all three points of contact. Go to the range which can be controlled and come up. If at any point you feel that the stick is losing one point of contact, uh, that's a cue to have the same stick press down on those three points of contact and control the range and come back up. Another common fault we'll tend to see with the deadlift is the weight distribution going too much into the heel. Now you want to ensure that the weight distribution is even through the entire foot, uh, not this way where the toes come off, but through the entire foot so that you're able to get even amount of pressure and push through the floor as you start coming up. Once we have mastered the three-point hinge, the next progression to a hinge pattern is performing an RDL. For this, we can start off by taking the same stick and holding it like how we would hold a barbell. The same rules apply where you're able to brace, you're able to breathe and even weight distribution on your legs. Now from here, imagine the three points of contact are still maintained with an imaginary stick at the back. Now keeping this in mind, we're going to hinge into position by pushing the hip back and keeping the bar close to the body. And same push into the ground as you come back up. Okay, now one more rep on this angle. Alright, let's go. Keep the stick close to you as you feel a mild stretch through the hamstrings, which is in the back of the thigh, and push into the ground on the way back up. Okay, once this, this pattern has also been mastered, this same movement can be performed by loading a barbell or using dumbbells or kettlebells and the same movement would transition into a loaded variation of the same hinge pattern.